what's up guys linux noob here with another video now as you might or might not know very recently there was an article posted on a very renowned technology related site ars technica which claimed that gaming performance on steam os is significantly worse uh, compared to windows now some of you might like steam os some of you might not but i think pretty much the entire linux community will agree on the fact that steam os is pretty much our best bet in order to get uh, gaming on linux uh, popular going forward so i thought it would be a good idea to have a conversation with all of you the linux community about what's really going on are the claims that uh, ars technica are making uh, viable or there's just uh, all of these are just some fluke and it's uh, absolutely all right and no problem at all so without further ado let's get started Now I made a video a few weeks back talking about the current status of gaming on Linux uh, which relates pretty well with this topic uh, and this article as well. I uh, talked about a lot of stuff uh, that I had to uh, talk about in this topic as well so I'll strongly suggest you go and check that video out. Uh, I'll put the link to that video in the description down below. So this is the article I'm talking about I'll put the link to this article as well in the description down below so you can check it out yourself uh, now the headline reads steam OS gaming performs significantly worse than Windows ours analysis shows now the analysis they made uh, they made some tests and ran the same games what they pretty much did was they made a custom built PC a dual booted steam os 2.0 and windows 10 on the same hardware then first they ran some synthetic benchmarks and uh, then some actual games and compared the performance difference uh, this is a spec of the system as you can see over here you can check it out uh, by going to the link uh, by yourself first of all the test that they made geekbench 3 a pretty popular cpu benchmark if not the most popular one as you can see from the chart single core benchmarks yes there is a difference but not something to really bat an eye about like these are some optimization issues that like that will vary from distro to distro probably and um, yes there is diff a difference but not really a hell lot multi core benchmarks same story Floating point, uh, yes, there is a significantly larger difference this time, but still not something to really care about. Moving on to actual gaming performance difference. This is where you'll actually see the differences first, like the significant differences first. Middle Art Shadow of Mordor, available on both uh, Windows and Linux natively. On lowest settings, 95 frames per second on Windows 10. Steam OS 2.0, 61 frames per second. Now, on the same hardware, on the same exact hardware, where the only difference is on the operating system, almost 35 frames per second difference is a huge and something that no gamer sh should even consider getting into. Like if it, it stays like this way of course steamos doesn't have a chance and you will see that throughout the all the charts even on ultra settings there is almost a difference of twice as much metro last light same story over here the differences are a bit low over here but still it's still significant like 10 frames per second on minimum settings and again on max maxed out settings almost uh, Windows 10 performing almost twice as good. Now, since um, Source Engine Source Engine games are Valve's own developed games, Source Engine is developed by Valve, uh, and also SteamOS is developed by Valve. Uh, they compared some Source Engine games, and here again the same story. 
uh, left for dead 2 and there wasn't really a difference over here but for all the other games the di difference was significant like even for valve's old own made games and may they made some conclusion as to why this might be and stuff like that and that's pretty much it for the uh, article over here now coming on to why this is really happening now we all know that Linux as an operating system itself is by no means less capable than Windows when it comes to Linux sorry when it comes to gaming then why is this difference that significant what really is wrong if you check my previous video there I talked about like how game drivers are less optimized and also the game developers uh, take less time to optimize their games for Linux and typically more time to optimize their games for Windows why that is now if you see the demographic right now more than 90 percent of the PC gamers are on Windows so for the GPU makers both AMD and Nvidia it's their best interest to optimize their drivers and take more time to optimize their drivers for Windows because that's their biggest money maker in the PC market not so much uh, when it comes to Linux of course whenever a big AAA title launches you'll see that Nvidia pushing their game ready drivers which performs better with those games uh, onto Windows and we get the same drivers on Linux weeks after sometimes we don't even get get the same drivers on uh, Linux as far as the game developers are concerned same goes for them as well like uh, unless a developer or a publisher is making significant amount of uh, profit from off of a specific platform they won't invest their money nor their time to optimize their games for that specific platform and right now the demographic of uh, steam os or uh, linux gaming is not that high for uh, make them interested to optimize their games and more to release more and more games on uh, Steam OS or Linux. Now this is again that chicken and egg problem. Gamers won't come to Linux for gaming unless there is more games available and the games are more optimized for Linux. And the GPU makers or the game developers won't uh, spend their time and money to optimize uh, their drivers and games for Linux unless there is a significant market share. Now is there potential to uh, something like th this to change? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't think something like this will change overnight. Of course, if SteamOS gets more momentum and popularity, more and more game developers and GPU makers will be interested uh, in optimizing their games and drivers for Linux or SteamOS. But uh, until that happens, I don't see something like this changing uh, very soon. Now in this topic there is one more factor actually to take into like behind Steam OS there is this huge corporation like Valve of course Valve has a lot of money and they can actually invest a lot of money into Steam OS because it's in their best interest for Steam OS to gain popularity so if they invest a lot of money and convince GPU uh, makers and uh, the game developers and publishers uh, to optimize their games only then it will gain more pace into into the matters but unless something like that that happens i don't really see something like, like this uh, changing overnight so that is pretty much what i had to say on this topic let me know what you think do you agree with me uh, do you disagree completely and you have your own point of view or something else to share? Uh, please let me know down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.